Dimension offers tons of tooltips, hints, help topics, and other resources that you can use as you learn the product to get really good at it. After viewing this lesson, you'll know how to find hints and tips for each feature, open the online help and training guides, and find the keyboard shortcuts that make takeoff really efficient. Dimension is designed to help you learn the application and grow your skill level as you work. I'm going to show you a couple of areas where you can find this type of assistance. Now, if you haven't yet opened Dimension and started a project, don't worry about getting into the software yet. This is just so you can see the different help features. Starting with the next lesson, we'll go from the very beginning, and you'll become familiar with this window in no time. When you perform certain tasks, a hint pops up explaining the most efficient way to accomplish that task. For example, if you use the scroll bar to move to different areas in the drawing, a hint pops up explaining that you can also move around by holding both the right and left mouse buttons down and dragging to the new location. Once you review the hint and practice the technique, you can clear the display checkbox. Now these hints are intended to be helpful, but if you find them too distracting, you can go to Settings, User Preferences, and click the Hints tab. Each checkbox represents an individual hint. I just cleared the checkbox for the zoom and scroll hint. You can see that here. I can clear as many of the checkboxes on this tab as I want, and I can always come back here to reset them if I need to brush up on my skills. You can see that the user preferences window has tons of tabs and settings on it. Don't worry, throughout these videos, I'll come back to this window to explain the settings related to each feature that I cover. By the time you finish the series, you'll understand how to use each of the options to make your daily work a breeze. You'll also find tooltips with all the information you need to complete a task. As you move your mouse over buttons in the ribbon, notice the extensive tooltips providing information and shortcut keys. For example, when I mouse over the zoom button, I see an explanation of the zoom, plus an alternative way to zoom using the mouse wheel. Dimension has an extensive online help system that you can access easily. I can click the green question mark in the upper right and then click a button or an option in the toolbar to go to help. For help in areas other than the toolbar, I can press F1 to open a help topic relating to the window that I have open. The Dimension Online Training Guide is always available. To find it, click File, Help, Display Online Training Guide. The guide includes detailed explanations for each feature of Dimension, with step-by-step -step instructions, practice activities, tips and tricks, and more. You can always check to see whether an update to your version of Dimension is available. To check for updates, click File, Check for Software Updates. If you don't have the latest version of Dimension installed, the notification window opens, and you can scroll through it to see the new features. If you work with a team of estimators who all use Dimension, be sure to coordinate with your system administrator before installing any updates. All users must be on the same version of Dimension. In a client-server environment, the server and all workstations must be upgraded at the same time. Even in organizations with multiple standalone installations, all users should stay on the same update so you can export and share data without any problems. If you're ready to install the new version, click Update. Otherwise, just close this window. In this lesson, you've learned about the extensive help, 
tooltips, hints, and other information at your fingertips as you learn Dimension. Remember, Dimension can really boost your productivity, but it does take practice. Starting with this lesson, we've provided practice activities that you can use to really build your skills. You can find the activity handout in the Resources section of the course window on SageU. Before you move on to the next lesson, take some time to complete the activity for Lesson 1-2. Thanks for viewing this Anytime Learning video.